Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Cassandra. So today I'm going to be to creating a makeup application routine that photographs well with no um, graying on the face with no flashback when the cameras are on basically makeup that makes you look good in pictures nothing ashy or anything like that this is a technique that i would do on my clients if you don't know i am a makeup artist and this is what i would do for my bridal clients or anyone who's going to be in front of the camera as well as myself when i'm here on youtube and creating content for my instagram if you haven't already please follow me down there on instagram i do post content that i don't share here on youtube with you guys and for my youtube family if you haven't already please subscribe and click the notification bell so that this channel can grow and reach other aspiring um, makeup lovers enthusiasts as well as makeup artists because i'm here to share my knowledge that i have acquired for almost eight years of applying makeup <laughs> wow it's been a long time guys i'm that deep so let's get into it so i'm going to begin with a foundation that is very close to my skin tone and my skin shade it is a little hot today so i'm going to apply a very thin layer nothing too hectic but this is my usual um routine anyway i'm gonna apply it in these stippling motions kind of like stamping and so stamping and stamping and spread i don't go all the way up to right under my eye i'm gonna leave that for when i apply concealer so i'm just gonna do this all over my face and then we'll switch into the concealer wow guys i'm trying something new with my hair i got some rods in there and we'll see how it turns out at the end of this video i hope it's going to look pretty good decent at least <laughs> so i've applied foundation all over my body i do love and i always stress this every time i do my makeup or every time i do makeup on anyone i love to keep the skin tone very similar to the skin tones you see on my face and on my body i don't want my foundation my face to look like it doesn't belong to my body or these hands so yeah very similar it kind of looks like i'm not wearing any makeup although i do have foundation on if you guys want a tutorial on how to identify your skin tone and how to identify your skin shade please let me know i i've kind of dabbled in this and skin shade is always changing depending on the seasons and the weather and if you've had exposure to the sun or not skin tone however does not change it's permanent if you want to know the difference let me know in the comment section down below and i will make a video just dedicated to that so the makeup technique that i will be sharing with you guys is called the power of three this is based off of a technique that danessa myricks who i i absolutely love basically came up with this technique but i went on to the extent of applying it to every single stage of my makeup application process which starts off with my concealers i use three different concealers starting with the darkest to the lightest three so every single stage of makeup application process we're going to use three different products from the darkest to the lightest the concealing highlighters three the contouring concealers three the powders three and that is how i'm going to be going through the process so i'm going to begin with the fenty beauty one this one is in the shade 430 and i'm going to apply it to i do have hyperpigmentation so i will apply it around my mouth like so and right there 
I'm gonna blend this out with Beauty Blender how I would regularly do it and then we will get to the next step. Right and now I'm back. Now you see that the dark circles and the hyperpigmentation has been covered up. Now I'm going to use the side as the side not to do. Now I'm gonna go in with the middle shade. The middle shade is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Foundation in the shade Tan. I'm going to use this one to highlight. So I would just go here, just drag it along the sides of my nose like that and to the corner right there. I kind of do this to just, it's going to photograph very well. I can't really explain it at the moment, but it'll photograph so, so beautifully. And this time around, I'm going in with a found with a little brush just to kind of keep the concealer in place and not move it around as much. So it's nicely blended, brightening up really, really well with the third concealer, which is much, much lighter than, much, much lighter than the previous two. I'm going to literally put it right there. This is just to further brighten my eye. Now we're coming to the don't part. This is what we would, anyone would easily mistakenly do because we all know that you're supposed to put a light concealer under your eye, but it's important to know the kind of shade you should put and you also look at your different skin concerns. I'll just apply this right under my eye, like so. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend in. And then same this side, I'm going to blend it out nicely as well. So this is how it looks. This side looks super, super bright, super, super beautiful. And this side, yes, it does look brightened, but I can still see my hyperpigmentation coming through and it's kind of causing like this gray look, which that's which will translate into some flashback ashy type of look when you take pictures. I'm gonna try and zoom it in so that you guys can kind of see I can still kind of see my hyperpigmentation coming through that grayness. And then when you look at this eye, when you look at this eye, I kind of see everything nice and even. And this side, I kind of see things coming out, which I don't want. I can see my discoloration popping through. I can see some grayish for me here. I can see some um, dark, darkness coming through the concealer and it's forming this grayness this gray ashy thing that I don't like I do have these indentations here on this eye it's not so much it's kind of like pushing forward and it makes the line shorter kind of ending there and doesn't look so deep on this eye you can literally see that there's like some sunkenness to my eye and that is what i'm trying to prevent and that is why i'm saying you should kind of know your face study your face and what you're trying to correct so when setting my under eye i'm going to be using three powders starting with the darkest to the lightest they're still bright they can be used as an under eye brightener brightening powder however I am using ingredients from darkest to lightest. Darkest, which I'm going to start with the Black Opal um, Soft Velvet Foundation. Mm, the Soft Velvet um, Powder. This one is in medium. So I'm going to use a brush. And what I'm just doing is I'm just stamping right there, right here. I'm gonna take that brightener and go directly under my eye this time. It's got like a yellowish tint to it. 
and then I'm gonna go in with the last powder which is a translucent powder I wouldn't say it's got a shade to it but it looks pretty white on camera and this is the Yardley translucent something something I will set all of these in the description bar down below but I would just set it like that now on this other eye the wrong side I'll go in directly with that translucent powder oh. I'm still putting on the same amount that I did on this side, on the good side. Using the same technique, dipping into it, patting away the excess and just applying it there. We're setting the entire face, right? We need to bring it down to the rest of where the rest of the concealer is, right? And there we go. There's definitely a difference. <laughs> this side looks more tinted with color. This side looks gray, which I don't like. And it is going to look bad when I take a picture. Actually, let me try taking a picture with a flash and without the studio lights and see how this comes out. I already don't like it. So this is exactly what I need. You need to also apply makeup considering the fact that you will be photographing this makeup okay so I went back and corrected the other eye and did it the right way with the three concealers now we're going to continue oh this shade is the middle shade I use the middle shade not the lightest one and just kind of blend that out on my forehead as well nose just a few taps so not to like kind of blend that out completely so now I'm going to be applying my contour I like to apply my contour cutting my face with an upward motion like that so my contour is a little on the cooler end and I kind of like make an S shape down and slightly curving in like that so i'm going to do that just around my face on my jawline the sides of my nose and on my forehead so here i'm just going in with the same three powder technique applying this where my highlight and contour meet i'm applying this on my forehead down my nose on my chin and cutting my contour going into that brightener I'm going to apply this directly under my eye in every other place where I had applied it the previous powder just to bring that warmth back and brighten it up and then the last step with the translucent powder I'm going to dab away the excess and lightly apply it only uh, directly under my eye and down my nose go in with powdered contour powdered bronzer and blush as my three contouring powders which I'm all going to get from the Morphe face palette I'm gonna use this contour this bronzer and this blush I'm just gonna go and stop somewhere here I'm just gonna go over where I've had all my other contours I had previously put the cream contour as well as my nose and my blush okay guys so I am back I've done my hair it didn't come out exactly as how I pictured it but I'm not mad either yeah this is the finished look you can rock this at a new year's party with a beautiful dress a beautiful cocktail dress and dance through the night so and that is it from me please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so that this channel can grow and i will see you next time bye